Viewing Form Responses, Part 2. In this second video, we're going to talk about the options to view form responses under the Question tab. When you select on the Question tab, what you'll see here at the top is that each question is available in the drop-down menu, and you can navigate to any question that was included in this form to see the breakdown of responses for that particular question. Since the first two questions here were just first name and last name, we'll skip past those and begin right here with question number three, where we began addressing the content. When I select on this, I can see all of the individual responses that my students gave, including starting right here at the top, that five people responded with the answer Saigon, and that all five of those people earned one point because that was the correct answer marked in the answer key. But if I scroll down just a little bit, I can see that another student also answered Saigon, but they assumed it was two different words and put a space here. And this person got zero points for this particular question. If I want to allow this student credit, all I have to do is click the checkbox here to change their score so that they also get a point. And then I click Save down here at the bottom to make that a permanent change. As we look at additional questions that were here, another one that was problematic was the Babe Ruth began his MLB career for the Boston Red Sox playing what position? You'll see here that three students put pitcher with a capital T and all three of them got one point. But right down here, we have students that uh, showed some sort of a spelling problem. They put pitcher, but they spelled it more like the type of picture you would hang on the wall. Those two students got zero points for this. So once again, I can come over here and I can check that I want to allow both of those students to receive a point. So one of the great things about the question tab is that it groups together these like responses so that you don't have to go through every single individual's responses. You can simply check that you will in fact accept that response and it has regraded both of those students' scores. Once again, don't forget to click Save. Another question that was problematic was the question about the Super Bowl here. Because there were two correct answers in this question, it was worth a total of two points. But as we scroll down, we'll see that we have students that actually got one of the two answers correct, and yet they were given zero out of two points. And that's because Google Forms does not recognize the concept of partial credit. If you, in fact, wanted the students to be able to earn something like one out of two points, that is a part of the manual grade process that you would need to do at the end. So instead of clicking the checkbox here, which would allow me to give this student full credit, what I'm going to do is come to the space here where it shows that they got zero out of two, and I'm going to click the up arrow to give them one out of two points, and then scroll down to see if there's anybody else who also needs to be given some sort of partial credit before I click save to make that a permanent part of the answers as well. Check back in our final video on the individual tab.